Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we are looking at a couple of late pre-war commercial uh, Mauser broom handles. And these were made probably around 1911, maybe pushing 1912. And so we're kind of getting close to the World War I era guns, which are called wartime commercials. And those guns had their fit and finish and sort of overall external quality diminish pretty quickly. These still have the really fine bluing, the deep bluing, and the very fine milling of your panels here that you're gonna see on your pre-war guns. Uh, these are very standard guns. There's nothing particularly special about them. They are all gonna be small ring hammer guns with your small ring hammer safety. This one is actually on fire. When you push it up, it's gonna go onto safe. And you can see it visibly moves the hammer back when it does that. Uh, these are, like I said, very standard. Your standard crown U, which pretty much always stays in the same place on all your broom handles. Your serial number which was always in the same place for a long, long time until finally it moved. And I'm sure one of these days we're going to do a, a video on some later guns. Uh, this one is in the 170,000 range. And your typical Mauser uh, mark here with your... This one actually has a, a very dark extractor. Um, I don't know if that might be a 1930s replacement, but uh, a little bit suspicious actually, the more I look at that. It's definitely Mauser bluing, but that is a salt blue, not a rust blue. So that looks like it's a little bit later on this gun. Usually that should be more of a iridescent blue that kind of looks like that, sort of the, the purple blue. And that is fairly black but oh well whatever uh, your standard thousand meter rear sight your uh, typical bolt with the last three of the serial number on it and at this time Mauser was still using the beautiful wood grips that they uh, really did use up until the wartime guns and then the wood kind of went down in quality i feel that's just my personal opinion but really i mean this is like commercial grade wood that you're gonna see and your standard um, panel marking there with your bolt stop this gun doesn't look to have seen much use and it is a pretty nice looking gun but again just a very standard gun nothing to get overly excited about in terms of uh, any markings or anything. It's just what you what would have been sold in Germany or a lot of Europe at the time Then um, Take a look at another one in this very close serial number range But this one is opened up to kind of give you an idea Of what the broom handle would look like when you had it ready for loading so as you can see your bolt is back and this bar in here is actually your firing pin a very long firing pin on broom handles. Uh, your firing pin is right there. It is notched. So you, what you do is actually push that in and turn it clockwise and then pop it out. Um, your serial number on that. And this one's got very, very nice fire blue on it. And you can see a little bit of the extractor there. It's just really beautiful blue. But the... Uh, insides of the broom handle were generally left in the white as you can see this is a pretty nicely polished follower that they would have and uh, your chamber of course with your standard chamber marking turn this guy over and again this just sort of illustrates how nice the uh, the milling on these was you will not see this level of milling and and uh, craftsmanship on the wartime guns. Uh, the exigencies of war were a lot more important than making this look nice for the commercial market. Um, and of course you've got your standard serial number 
That one's in the 174,000 serial number range. And as usual, you have your mystery markings underneath the barrel here. That one looks like a couple of M's with an X or a K. And I think the other one has got something similar. But again, don't get too excited about the markings underneath right here very much. You'll get all kinds of different markings. And I think they're just factory uh, control numbers and like inventory numbers and inspect sub-inspector stamps for uh, during the assembly process. Um, also on a lot of these guns, and this is going to be really hard to see, but if you lift the uh, rear side up, you'll actually see a three or four, usually a three or four, digit number that has nothing to do with the serial number. Uh, if you see that, a lot of people call that a contract number. Don't get overly excited about it. I think it's just probably, again, an inventory control number or uh, uh, some sort of inspector, sub-inspector stamp. Uh, I've never seen any correlation between it and a contract or anything like that, and it will not match your serial number, so don't get overly concerned about it. But hope you've enjoyed taking a look at a couple of pre-war commercial guns as we get toward the Great War, what, what Mauser was doing and cranking out. And if you enjoy looking at interesting guns, military and helmets, like and subscribe, leave a comment, and encourage me to do more. Thanks for watching.